I don't think there's a single snooker fan on planet Earth who does not wa love watching that man, even practice, by the way. Everything about him is just classy. But, Neil, in terms of his place in snooker history, I mean, I'm going to slightly hush my tones because he can probably hear us now. Where do you currently place him? Well, I mean, it depends now because the game has changed, OK? If you go back to the, you know, the Hendry era and the early days of Ronnie and uh, John Higgins and the likes of those players, and Mark Williams, of course, there were fewer big tournaments than there are now. So it was all about being world champion, UK champion, Masters champion. Well, obviously, Judd's won all of those and he's won two Masters, but uh, he's not won multiple world championships, but he's won so many. Obviously, in the interim period, he's won, you know, he's won the first two home nations, for instance, this season, as well as all these events in China he's winning. So um, he's right up there. But the game has changed, so you're judged on different things now. Right now, all he's doing is winning, so he's one of the greats. So, what's more important, Jim? Lots of ranking titles or some triple crowns? And how important are these triple crowns? Well, I think what he's done, you know, he's so reinvented himself. You know, we used to talk about, you know, this sexy snooker, this exciting, going for all these shots and all that. He's still got all that, but his temperament's a lot better. He plays value shots at the right time. And for me, any tournament he plays and he wants to win, whether they're a Triple Crown event or Home Nations or an event in China. He just wants to win titles. And I think it's, this is now his time to kick on and be the kiddie. Obviously, you're always going to have O'Sullivan and um, Mark Selby around, but, you know, Trump is, at the moment, for me, playing the best snooker in the world. How much will that flu and being under the weather affect him? We're going to head over to Rachel now, who it's safe to say is with a somewhat erudite spaceman. Welcome inside a bustling Barbican, and I'm here with Mr. Thunderstruck himself, uh, Dominic Dale. Dominic, how are you? I'm very well, Rachel, thank you. Looking forward to the play this afternoon. They loved that word, Dominic, last night. I have to come up with some different ones now. Thunderstruck's a word I do like to use. <laughs> well, we'll be finding out what um, other words in the vocabulary of Dominic Dale uh, we'll be hearing in commentary this afternoon. What word would you use to describe Pang Jun Su? Um, sagacious. He's a very solid, competent, all-round player. He plays a little bit like Ding, you know. He's a very good tactical player, knows the game well. He could cause Judd some problems this afternoon, but he's going to have to play well because we know how devastating Judd can be. And, of course, Pang jun he has got experience. He's been a Welsh Open semi-final, reached the WST uh, Classic final, made his Crucible debut this year, but this is the biggest stage of all for him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a massive atmosphere out here. Most of the people here are Judd Trump fans. They're going to absolutely love this match. Judd is a little bit under the weather, we hear. So how he's going to perform, we don't know. I mean, Ding was under the weather the other day, and he performed very well when a nail-bite in deciding frame. But, you know, for me, the money's on Judd Trump, isn't it? I mean, he's won so many tournaments this season. He's got his confidence back. He was struggling for a couple of seasons really but he's, he's right back at his best for me and I think he's going to be the player to beat this this week. OK, player to beat. What about on table two? We've got Ben mm. Wollaston and, and Barry Hawkins. Barry has had a, a great season. Uh, ben has done incredibly well to get here through qualifying and how do you think he will cope with this situation? He's obviously got a, a lot of experience but um, Ben less so than Barry, maybe comfortable in this environment, would you Would you say? I definitely think so, yeah. It takes a long time to be comfortable playing in front of the TV cameras. Barry Hawkins has won a tournament in Germany. He's playing some fantastic snooker. He's going to be hard to beat. Buzzing? Yeah, buzzing, definitely Good. buzzing. Always buzzing. Always buzzing. It's the <laughs> best word. To, back to you guys. Hi, I'm Ronnie O'Sullivan, and welcome to Eurosport Snooker on YouTube. Click here to subscribe to Eurosport Snooker.